YouTube, this is my first video tutorial on the Cubex series, and my series is going to include anything and everything dealing with the Cubex single, duo, or trio 3D printers. Now this first video right here, I understand it's shaky, I'm sorry, I'm just doing a quick video off my phone, is going to show you how to update the firmware of the of the printer itself. It's a little difficult, it's not as intuitive as many people would like, but it's not as difficult as it is either. So the first step is you go through the menu, focus in there, then you're gonna scroll until all the way to the end. Once you get to the end, it should say update. Now if you click it, nothing happens. That's because you have to do a special trick. So you have to take your little USB flash drive plug it in. The reason you plug it in is when you do it, it'll actually save the settings onto the drive. Now you'll come back to here, press press update and the power button at the same time. And then you'll get this one, firmware update, ensure only USB memory stick is plugged in and keep pressing. So then we push check and it says settings save and it goes white. That's what we want. Next, you take just a D-shaped USB and you plug it in. Pretty self-explanatory. Now I'm running just a standard Cubex software. I'm sorry it's a little screeny, scrungy, but what you do is you go up here to settings and in settings you'll click firmware update. And you can follow the tutorial how to update if you're unsure, but you just click the update firmware and a progress bar will show, and then you locate your file. Mine's located over here in downloads because I was doing some fancier stuff with it. But once you get your version file, it should go to it by default if you want just a standard version, or you can download the links in the description. But you click that file and you click open. That's all that you have to do. And then it'll say firmware process, loading, loading, firmware successfully uploaded. Now you go back to the printer and you pretty much hold it. Now this sometimes does or does not work in which I like just to turn it off. I have a power grid here. I turn it all off, turn it back on. Now when it comes back on, it's going to ask me for my activation code. Because it literally reinstalled the software, you have to put the activation code back. It'll give you activation successful, then you could go into the print. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped.